Domenica e benvenuti in questa nuovissima puntata di Ozio Lord con il nostro caro Redemption 2. Bene, raga, prima di iniziare la live, come sempre, vi ricordo a tutti che oltre a me c'è sempre tanta bella gente in paglia. Che abbiamo in live soprattutto? Abbiamo la nostra Nola, Nola su Twitch, Lady Croft, il gruppo del Taggi Club, Luke, MKype, Kala e il nostro Yeye. Bene, raga, spero che la demo di Scoot Strike vi sia piaciuto. Doma mi vedrò di continuare. È abbastanza grande questa demo, non c'è che dire. Allora, intanto cominciamo a caricare e riprendiamo la storia con il nostro John. Eccoci qui, come vedete il nostro è John Marson, quello che vedremo nel primo capitolo di Redemption. È a circa un anno da quegli eventi, ora adesso stiamo cercando di condurre una vita normale. Ok, there. Allora. Beh, cominciamo prima a lavorare e poi procediamo. this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful. I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Plenty more to do. Hound it in there. We don't want it coming down. 
Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Okay. You're doing all right. That's it. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting the sections when you're done. Okay. about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Let's go. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place tidy. Okay, Pa. 
I'll see you later. E abbiamo ancora niente a tutti i tre dollari. Ah, fatti colpi dal toro, eh vabbè. Però lo sapete come assomiglia ad Arthur così, eh? No, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Uh, good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. And since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh. Well, when Mr. Gettys goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh. Okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Prevedo, prevedo, grossi guai.
Ok. trouble now. Slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Mom. 
Well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. Con la sua esperienza di ladro di cavallo è il minimo. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my god, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard, you just stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. Empty. No. Not much longer. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh... I'm I'm busy, uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Huh. È meglio evitare. John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? kind of withdrawn quiet you know sure take him out please come on boy let's go for a walk come on Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. 
Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Speed up a mic. Okay. Even faster, come on! Faster? Yep! Cross to the stream. Yes, sir. <laughs> Grazie per il ride, Oni. Benvenuti a tutti. Sera Kratos, benvenuti ragazzi, benvenuti, benvenuti. Per chi non mi conosce, io sono Lord Darkness, sono uno streamer, porto vari giochi, compreso Retro Games su tutte le varie piattaforme. Vi ricordo che se volete seguirmi basta che mi lasciate un cuoricino. Stiamo portando Redemption 2, siamo all'epilogo parte 1 qui, dove impersoniamo Joe Maxon, personaggio che vedremo nel primo capitolo di Redemption 1. Grazie, buona cena. Ecco una bella gara tra padre e figlio. Siamo ai vicino, vince che quello cade. Ovviamente.
I beat you. I beat you. I well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. È stata una bella gara, eh? Tutti fanno vincere i propri figli, voi no? Andiamo a vedere che succede. With your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear him. Cinque secondi per stendere a questo, mamma mia. Allora. Surviving, I think. Here, I'll get you some coffee. The only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, 
Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. Ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a... old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but... I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. Bank we... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman! I know! I know all about that! Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom! You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. I'm doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at it. Okay, Lancelot. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing the things you like, boy. Yes, sir. You make that clear enough. What's that supposed to be? Only that you aren't so happy here. With us. Son, I'm happy. It's just... I, I find it hard, is all. You'll understand someday. Take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. I, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Easy. Strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I'll leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. My name? Uh, 
Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. Hmm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I think before. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But... I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Yeah. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Gee up! Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Give him a switch. Pick up the pace a bit. Let's speed this up. I think we're going too fast, Pa. But pull your reins in. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. It'll be all right. Just keep driving. Credo che molto presto ne vedremo delle belle. Il problema è che non ho neanche una pistola.
Come on. Quick. Now. Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? Do you sure look like him? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get out. Oh, dear. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, huh? Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. You did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. such a chore the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Say hi to your mother. How was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Just do one. 
one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Non si può fuggire dal passato purtroppo, come ho scritto nel titolo. Andiamo dal capo e vediamo cosa vuole. incident with the uh, Laramie boys? Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean, to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston. You're such a pig! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim, you gotta do something. Two of them by the stall. They got caught. Rich man. Who's this? New hand. Oh. You're that tough guy they just took on. Yeah, I heard about you. Crap. You put him down, all right. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in. It's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This... Ma si comincia a ragionare. <ride> ah, non ci sono tutte le armi.
is here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand! cappello di Arthur
Eh, la vecchia abitudine non muoiono mai. Sir, just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Hmm. La nostra se Maybe. problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up, and you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son, and I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And 
I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. Well, keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Hmm. Lui crede in questo. Mettiamoci a lavoro intanto. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. son how's that bull fine mr milton your father in could i have a word 
Sure, I'll just get him. Pow! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Rieccoci qua, beh, tornati nel vecchio sonno, di nuovo in azione. La nostra Sandy ci vuole dare un... attacco alle diligenze come una volta prima dirigiamoci a valentine per vedere un po' cosa ha da dire Just settle down 
And with the moonlight as my guide And with this feeling deep inside I know now that I am homeward bound Cruel, cruel world must I go Dusty trail, saw a vapor light. Was it a mirage? I don't know, but it seemed right. I felt mission, I felt trust. I knew then that I must so go to her from this cruel world. Cruel, cruel world, must I go?
told you to leave it, Bubba. I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone! Or what? Ah! Oh, Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do it. Real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You... you killed Feller up by Roanoke? I sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She... She's fine. <laughs> He was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Are you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. Oh, well, it's legal. Uh, usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got a run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Watch it! Gotta raise damage. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him, but about your back? Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker? Nathan Kirk, you know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you.
welcome center. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here. And grab him if he starts running. Easy enough. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! No! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! Oh. You're a good fella. We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. He went right. Stay on him. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. This is gonna hurt. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. Are you, are you married, sir? Uh, uh, what now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, so I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. <laughs> okay, Missy. A post. Ah, c'è pure la caglia da ricercata. Uh, un'altra sta anche qua. 
Beh, visto che devo... Vediamo un po' dove sto. Un'altra sta qui. Ah, ma ci sono le taglie da fare. Devo fare parecchie spese Ma prima Dobbiamo darci una pulita Yani. Ma io lascio perdere, va, se no perdo l'onore.
Ecco qua. <ride> Bentornato John Merson. <ride> Come l'originale del primo. Vediamo un po' le notizie.
to Akridi's premises this morning without his pants. Oh, everyone's gabbing about that. Why, hello. How you doing there? I can't lie. The Lord's blessed me. Some quality goods. Sure, you can look, but don't try me. Time for you to leave yet, or? Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? 
Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. It's me again. Try to be something you're not. You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Officer. Sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for him. If you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive, but sure as hell I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. Say hello to that no good for me. Hey! Help a blind man. Take this. You remember the past at the expense of the future. Uh, right. Okay, friend. All the best now. 
Are you still here? What are you waiting for? I can't tell you what you want to hear. Jesus, who'd do a thing like this? Hello? Not here. Ma oh, raga avete sentito il tuono? Invece di scappare ho voluto rimanere. Oh, eh, no. 
Porta sto paghi ma mi dici fino al cavallo. Beh, visto che ci sono qui, aspettami qua intanto.
water to rinse. What is wrong with you? Good work today. <laughs> Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green is I live and breathe. Damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. Spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't mean that, dude. It's only fair. You come back soon, you'll find another poster on that wall. This fledgling. The community needs your kind. You can't kill me, Chief! I can't be killed, and I won't be! I'll see you dead. A good girl now. No, è impossibile, è ancora in circolazione quello. Però c'è il cane finito sto Kevin che non si trova da nessuna parte. Pensavo che mai era passato invece è ancora in circolazione, ma che è un fantasma. Let's call last time bygones. 
Okay, look through this, but you better be serious. Somebody help me. Cap? Cap? I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, non ce l'ha allora vediamo un negozio d'armi vabbè andiamo a vedere la casa intanto I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. 
What's up, fancy Dan City boy? Says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys, let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. <laughs> you the man with two names and no past come on in how'd you make out well let's just say there are no more squatters okay well I got your paperwork ready now you sure about buying this place it's really run down and the price isn't too great I think it would mean a lot for my wife at least mean I was listening to her okay well sign here and here Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> beh, beh, da lui non è uno strozio, ma in fondo. Run from a bank. 
Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Exactly. Did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tail. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Okay. Ok, i tagli dei cercati stanno ancora qui. Easy now. 
Working hard? It's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? This year, my will never quite outrun my sins. Got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. Get out! I'm getting up. Oh no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town and oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all and the sound of it not doing too good neither. Get off. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Uh, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? Are you a new customer? Well, welcome. Come in. Now, let me see. a better selection of firearms this side of the river. Maybe you think about it and come back to it. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. You ever thought about getting some enhancements for that gun? Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all?
Just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He they told me Charles was here. Surprise. <laughs> what the hell Not one of life's great surprise. mysteries and turns you are out. Kill it. <laughs> we both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. <coughs> he don't know the half of it. John? You're you're I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only... She left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten empty, I say unbeatable. Lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. We just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. 
I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns of rum. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. <laughs> ah, a meal we do quarantine. No. My bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur Good. We got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, and some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Without He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real a year since, well, that time. Nor me, Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of them. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk are strong in ways you can't see. Wait. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those... Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. Oh, well, I've been here an hour. Hey. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> Simple. John Charles! <laughs> you 
You boys been all getting up to no good? Kinda. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Mamma. Ok raga, io mi fermo qua per stasera. 20 dollari per pagare la taglia. Vabbè. Dunque raga, grazie a tutti per la compagnia, chi è rimasto, ringrazio Ninora per il ride. Ci becchiamo in settimana, continueremo sicuramente domani continuerò con la demo di School End e con gli altri giochi. Prima di andarcene raga, facciamo un bel raidino e c'è il nostro Norisawa che andremo da lui a salutare notte notte